Now let's take a look at this group of parameters on the right. These parameters have everything to do with stereo spreading and what frequency specifically we're going to allow to spread across the stereo image. Since these won't have any effect using the mono version of this plugin, I want to switch over to another instrument, our synthesized guitar line, uh, which uses a stereo space designer, and we're going to see how these function. Now we're looking at a larger room IR file, and I just want to play this track with the reverb active so you can hear what we're going to be working with. You might already be able to tell a distinct difference with this Space Designer plugin being in stereo format and not mono format like our piano was. The crossover frequency is the point at which we're going to divide our low frequencies to be spread and our high frequencies to be spread. I've set my crossover value at 1000 Hz. I just so happen to know that these guitars don't have much happening below 600 Hz that I'm interested in using in the mix. Uh, and I didn't even really want to include anything between 600 and 1000 in my spread. You really want to be careful about unnecessarily spreading low to mid-range frequencies when they're not essential to your reverb because those can very quickly muddle the mix, especially if you have several stereo reverbs going at once. Therefore, I've set my low spread to 0%. Okay, I'm not going to be spreading low frequencies um, below 1000 Hz at all across the stereo image. Even though this track has a darker sound to it, I do want to spread some of those highs uh, to actually give this reverb a distinguished effect. Let's go ahead and listen as I adjust some of these parameters. Those changes were very subtle, and part of the reason for that is that on the output EQ from the Space Designer, I've actually kind of cut down some of the more extreme highs and not included really any low frequencies. Uh, and so the spread uh, effects are not going to be as noticeable as I manipulate them. Lastly, we have our dry to wet ratio. Now if you're using Space Designer on a bus, it's automatically going to mute your dry signal and just give you wet. Okay, so that way when you're listening to it here, uh, you can just solo it out and listen to only your reverb. Therefore, to get your actual mix of wet to dry signal, you actually want to go over to your channel strip and adjust your send volume. So that's how you're going to find the best blend between your reverb and your dry signal.